So one of our cheap getting around tips for Medellin, if you're going to be here for any length of time, so I would say a month or more, you're going to want to get a Civica car. They're free, um, but what they do is they give you a discount. So regular fare right now in 2019, it does change, so make sure to check. It is... 2,550 pesos for each ride on the metro. The Civic card, it knocks it down to 2,050. So you save 500 pesos. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add up, especially if you're doing this multiple times a day. Um, how you get the card is you just bring your passport to either San Antonio. Um, I'm going to show you the line though. So you want to go just over there, um, but you can see the line. So we've heard, and we've stood in that line, it took us about an hour. Um, some Spanish is needed, not fluent, I mean, you can get by. Um, and you need your passport, and it's free, they print it out, you get your name on it, and then you can go to any Ghana station to load it, the ticket booth to load it, any of that. Um, but if you go to San Javier, which is at the end of line B, I'll show you a map. They actually don't normally have a line. It's much simpler to get in and out of there versus San Antonio, which is the hub, because that's where line A and line B meet. Um, basically, the big key thing for the metro system here to make it cheap is don't exit. Okay, so you can stay from, we came from line B, you stay and get line B A without exiting. Uh, you can take the one of the if they have cable cars, you can stay on those and you just stay in the cable car, go all the way to the top, stay in the cable car and come back down, you don't repay. Um, so there's cheap ways to do the city, but again, if you're gonna be here any length of time, super card. Charging your card, you just wanna to go to any Ghana station. They're seriously everywhere in the city. You can't go like five blocks without running into one. It is only cash though.